Hi bro learners how are you hope you are doing great my name is Jaz and welcome back to my channel bro learner in this video we are going to start a brand new tutorial on push bootstrap okay now first of all let's see what is bootstrap bootstrap was developed by Mark Uto and Jacob Threton at Twitter it it was released as an open source product in August 2011 on GitHub because Bootstrap is an open source, that's why we can use in our project without paying anything. It is an open source framework used to develop a responsive website with the help of predefined classes. We discuss about predefined classes in our next video and we will see what is responsive website in our next slide. Okay. It is a front-end framework used for easy and fast web development. We can develop our website with the help of Bootstrap much easier and faster. Okay. Now let's talk about responsive website. Here you can see we have three devices. First is laptop, second is tablet and third is mobile phone. When we compare laptop and tablet, here you can see the here we have a gap and we have gap also here but you can see the difference between the gap it aligns the column 1 column 2 and column 3 according to the space available here we have text in a compact manner here we have text in one line and in second line we have some from here to here but here you can see because we have less width comparing to the laptop that's why it come here and here and it come here and here okay similarly when we compare mobile phone and laptop and tablet you can see column 1 column 2 and column 3 in laptop and tablet align horizontally but in mobile phone you can see it is aligned vertically here we have vertical alignment and you can see also it is in fir first line but you can see in mobile phone the text in two line and similarly we have subheading also in two line this is the main difference between these three devices and you can see the look and feel change according to the device this is called responsive website okay now we will see how we can connect bootstrap in our html css and javascript file okay now we will see how we can connect bootstrap in our html web page for that we have to create our html page and just open your browser and you can see the result okay now after that we have to search bootstrap and after that hit enter and go to the first link okay now here you can see the nav bar just click on document and just come to the introduction page and scroll down a little bit here you can see the css and javascript link just first copy the css link and come to here and provide a link tag link and provide the link okay if you want to add your custom CSS then after this link you have to paste the path of your custom CSS okay if you provide before that then may or may not your changes or your style is appear to your website that's why it is better practice to provide after the bootstrap link okay now after that we have to just copy this JavaScript link and we have to paste here script src and paste the link now after that let's save and we have to just include component i just use a button component just click here and you can choose any i just copy all of this button copy and paste in our web page after heading just paste and now let's save when I come here you can see the button is appeared with the styling that is visible in the bootstrap website if I just comment the link when I comment the link 
you can see the styling of this button are uh, is gone you can clearly see now it is look like a ordinary button okay when you provide any bootstrap functionality or component in your website then you have to use the javascript and css link okay see how to make website layout with bootstrap first of all we use three classes of bootstrap to make a website layout first we use container it is a wrapper class wrapper for example if our website is look like this here we have heading or logo and here we have nav bar and after that we have row 1 row 2 and row 3 and after that at the end we have footer okay now the main class which is wrapper of all of this layout layout or you can say alignment of these 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 element of our website is called container or it is container is nothing but container is nothing but it is a wrapper wrapper class of all element of the web page web page okay now let's discuss about what is layout here you can see which i draw already here we have heading and after that you can see we have nav1 nav2 nav3 and nav4 and here you can see we have column 1 from here to here and column 2 and in this column we have row 1 row 2 row 3 and here we have row 1 row 2 row 3 and row 4 and at the end we have footer which is again a row wise and all of this element is wrapped in our container this is the way, way a layout look like okay now after that we see what is container class and how many container class we have in bootstrap here we have two container class first is container and second is container fluid if we want 100% alignment of our website in any device then we use container fluid it is like look like liquid if you fill in a jar is shaped like a jar okay this is like this is why it is name is fluid fluid means liquid it take the container or the device width okay now container width is uh, about if we are using if you are using a uh, laptop then it is its width is 1140 pixel and it adjusts according to the device that we use now we'll see the breakpoint of a container class because if you are using container fluid is by default it is 100 percent then we don't need to take care of it but we if we use container class then we have to know about this thing the breakpoint of according to the device okay if our pc is extra large it means 1200 pixel then the container width is 1140 pixel it means it has some margin from top left right and bottom okay now if our device is large and its uh, width is approximately 992 or more than that and less than this okay then our width container width is 960 and if we are using medium size then it is its width is 720 pixel if it is small then it is 540 pixel it is a tablet okay when it or tablet it is also maybe a tablet it is a small tablet or it is a medium sized tablet okay now after that we have extra small it means android phone or ios phone if uh, it is less than this then it is auto auto means 100 percent width okay now we'll see how we can practically implement this okay hello friend now we are going to see how we can practically implement column 
class of bootstrap and row class of bootstrap for that we have to create a document which is this is the template or basic template you can say here we link our bootstrap of css with the help of link tag and after that we provide script tag and provide the script link of javascript link of bootstrap if we want our own style some styling then we have to provide another link tag but we make sure you have to provide after the bootstrap link if you provide before that then it will not appear in your web page okay so that we have to use link and after that we provide a style dot css now we have to create this file i just click on plus and create style dot css now hit enter and after that we have to just create i just minimize this okay now we have to create a div with class container class container and after that we provide well come to pro learner and after that let's say now you can see it look like uh, it has some margin but we cannot distinguish for that we have to just provide in our own style provide container class container and here we have to provide dot okay now after that we have to provide curly bracket and here we provide border and 8 pixel solid black now let's say here you can see we have this margin from left and this margin from right when i double click and go to the inspect i just click on container you can see here we have if you want to set device and you want to check according to device just click here if i unclick now it is normal and you can see our um, device width is um, larger extra large that's why it is containing this um, width 100 1320 pixel okay when i click here and adjust according to the device if it is now 992 pixel it is large when i just decrease it a little bit now it is medium when i little bit decrease more you can see now it is small which is 572 pixel when i just decrease or set now it is extra small and the width is auto it means it is 100 percent you can clearly see okay when i just decrease now it does not affect okay when i increase now you can see it set according to the device bit okay now after that we have container fluid for that we have to just provide hyphen fluid and we have to provide here also fluid fluid now let's save now you can see whether the device is extra large or large it is 100 percent you can clearly see it is 100 percent it will take the 100 percent width of the available device okay now after that we provide here i just undo here and here also i just undo now after that we pro erase this and inside this container we provide div here we provide class row and here provide row one one and i just paste this in three time row two row three you can see now when i save you can see we have this row one row two and row three but we cannot distinguish we have to provide here after this we provide dot row and here we provide border 5 pixel 
solid red okay now let's save now you can see easily see this is a row is having this width and it is set according to the container when i decrease the container you can see the row one row two and row three is align according to the container when i just decrease a little bit when it is extra small now it is 100 percent weight you can clearly see okay now if you want to change this container with container fluid now then it is 100 percent in all case fluid here also we provide fluid now let's save you can see now it is 100 percent in all cases this is how you can provide container class and row class in your website it's about call class in bootstrap first of all what is call class when we provide a call class to a row class inside a row class then it divides the row in equal part if we provide two call class then it is 50 percent one and 50 percent in other you can see if it is 100 pixels then this is 50 pixel and this is 50 pixel okay and if it is 150 pixel and we provide three call class inside this row class then it is 50 pixel 50 pixel 50 pixel it means it divides equally each call class if we provide four then it is divided by four if you mm, provide five then it is divided by five okay all class divide the width of row equally okay now we see how we can apply call class first of all in every class that we use first we provide the container class okay and inside container we provide row class and inside row class we provide call class okay if you provide call class directly to the container it will not work and you cannot directly provide call class inside the container you have to first provide container class inside container you have to provide row class inside row class then you can provide call class this is the hierarchy you can say and similarly you can see here first we have container inside container we have row inside row we have call one call two and call three okay now we are going to discuss about call class breakpoint you know that we have five type of screen in our bootstrap first is extra large which is equal to 1200 and more than 1200 and then we have large which is equals to 992 and more than that but less than 1200 okay then we have medium size which is 768 and more than that and 900 less than 992 okay then we have small screen which is equals to 576 or more than that okay and less than 768 and after that we have extra small which is less than 576 pixel okay now the breakpoint is that when we have a row class for example here we have a row class dot row and inside this row we have three call class call one call two call one call two and call three call three if we provide that breakpoint call x l it means if we reduce the screen size then our layout look like call one in extra large screen we have the layout in one row we have three column but if we reduce the screen size to large medium small and extra small it look like call one in one row call two in second row and call three in third row okay similarly if we provide lg if we provide lg then in extra large it look like this and in large it is look like this call one call two and call three in single row but if we reduce to medium then it look like this 
okay and if we provide medium from extra large to medium we have this layout three column in single row but we reduce to small then it will look like this and in extra small also if we provide a small then from extra large to small the layout is this and if we reduce to extra small then it come to the row wise every column is in single row okay now after that we will see how we can implement this in vs code okay now we will see how we can practically implement call class for that we have to just provide a container class inside container we have to provide row class okay i just use two row i just remove this row three and here i just remove the text and provide here dot call and here i provide call space one and i just copy this and provide here two and after that we provide a styling okay we have to just provide dot call and here we provide border 5 pixel solid green and after that let's see you can see our call 1 and call 2 having equal width okay when i click double click here and go to the inspect okay now when i adjust now it is in large screen you can see it maintain the equality of width when i just uh, decrease the screen size to large you can see it maintain again when i decrease to medium you can see still it have the same equality okay and now it is small but it also have the same width okay now it is a small extra small and it maintain the equality but when i minimize a too much now you can see it is very small then our our text is overflow that's why it come to the next line okay now after that we just increase this to large okay now after that if i just provide here four class call class paste here and provide three and four now let's save you can see we have four call class with equal width when i decrease the size of the device you can see it maintained but when we extra small you can see first this four column come to the next row and this three is in the same and we decrease further you can see both having two call one and two three and four okay now after that we can also provide if we just copy this and paste here okay five six seven eight now let's say okay i just cut you can see having equal size but we decrease too much then it come to the next row okay now if we want to separate this in single column or two column then we can provide here a class dot w hyphen hundred it is for breakpoint and now let's say you can see our first column one and column two in single line and rest are in the next line you can provide after three and four if i want to provide a one two three and four class four call in same row then we provide here after this break dot w hyphen 100 now let's say you can clearly see our first we first row having two column second row having four column and last we have two column okay if you don't want to provide individually you can also provide here just come to the row class and after that separate with space and provide row hyphen calls hyphen number of column in one row for example i want to i provide two and now let's say you can see each having four each having two call you can increase also if you provide three now you can see 
we have three one three and here we have two that's why it is empty but if we add one more then it is come to here okay here when we provide some text in our column one in column two and in column three also okay now let's say here you can see we have three column okay you can see when our device is uh, extra large it is in three column when we decrease you can see it is in three column okay when we decrease too much our text is overflow but it is in three column okay for now if we want some break point then we can provide here just remove this we have to just remove this okay and after that we provide here for example I just set breakpoint for medium screen I just provide MD and I copy this copy and I remove all of this okay all of this okay now here I provide MD MD okay now let's save when our screen is extra large it is in three column when we decrease to large it is in three column when our screen is medium it is still in three column but when we decrease to medium then it is in single row you can see okay if we I provide here call MD now let's save you can clearly see it is in each column in single row okay if here you provide sm small and here we provide sm sm and sm now let's save in medium screen it is still sorry it is when we are in small screen it is also in column wise but when we decrease a little bit more and now it is extra small and all our text all our column in row wise you can see column 1 in first row column 2 in second row and column 3 in third row okay if you provide here large you can see in an extra large and large it is having three column but if it is in medium screen small and extra small then it will come to each row okay bootstrap call grid we already see what is container class and row class and we already see what is call class now we are going to discuss about advanced version of call class which is call grid okay we already see that when we have one row and we provide call class then it divide the column equally if we have two column then it is 50 percent if we have four column then each of them having 25 percent okay similarly if we provide five it divide equally among the number of column that we provide okay now if we want to set according to our need then we use call grid okay now first of all what is grid you can see in our bootstrap call grid we divide a row in 12 grid 12 grid okay grid 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 okay and we number according to the um, if we want call 1 it is of this width if we provide call 2 then it have double of 1 okay if we provide call 3 then it have 3 grid in it and so on if we provide 6 then it is 50 percent and we have to provide to another column to call grid 6 call grid 6 and call 6 okay and if we have for example if we have 4 column okay first having call 2 okay hyphen and then we have call 5 call 5 and then we have 
call to call to and after that we have call three okay okay it divide according to the number of grid that we provide it has two grid it has five grid it has two grid and it has three grid okay and you can see if we total this two plus five plus two plus three is equals to 12 you can see okay and similarly if here you can see we have two column first having six six grid and another having six grid and total you can see 12 and in second example you can see we have eight grid and here we have four grid that's why the total is 12 and it not break if here we provide five then the total will change to 14 then it will break in here you can see when we provide the sum is more than 12 then this column come to the next line if we provide something here we provide uh, less than 12 but in this last we provide more than the sum is more than 12 then the last one come to the next line okay we will see in practical implementation also okay with the help of call grid we can make a website of this type easily without having to think about the adjustment alignment and responsiveness of the website okay we will see how we can do that for example here you can see we have first row and it has total of 12 grid because it is completely it is, this is the here you can see we have heading and heading is of full of width that's why we can provide call grid 12 or we can directly use call and second you can see we have navbar here and it is also full of width we don't have any other column so we can provide call grid 12 or call okay and here you can see we have two column column one call one and call two call two okay if we want to adjust this according to our need then we can provide the grid system here we provide the call this column to call grid nine it having nine grid space and this call having this column to having three grid space okay and the last one is heading and it is all again full of it is only the one column that's why we can provide call grid 12 or we can also provide call and all of them having in the container class okay now we will see how we can practically implement this okay now we will see how we can practically implement call grid okay for that we have to create our container class dot container hit enter and our container class created and after that we provide two row class row one and after that i just copy this okay inside first row i provide dot call hyphen eight grid and hit enter and here i provide text 10 word of text okay and after that we have another class call grid hyphen four grid and here i provide okay and i just copy this okay i just copy this and paste inside our second row okay i paste here and i just change this eight to five and here i just leave it as four okay now you can see the sum is nine and here you can see the sum is nine and we have three grid that having nothing inside it okay it means it is blank now here i'll show you that i have some custom style container having black border you can clearly see from here and row having red color this is row one and row two having red color and i provide from column one to column 12 class with having green border okay you can clearly see okay now you here you can see we having eight grid and here we having four grid 
and here we having five grid and here we having four grid and this this three grid is having blank and it having nothing you can see we don't have any border also when i just inspect okay now i just increase the size okay now if i adjust according to the device you can see in large screen it having the same layout okay when we decrease it having the same thing okay it adjusts according to the device and it is fixed layout okay you can clearly see now it is a small screen but having the same result when it is extra small you can see but but if we scroll minimize too much or just adjust too much the text is overflow but the layout is still the same it means it having fixed layout okay now i just increase this the size of the device okay now after that if i create another div okay i just copy this and paste in the second row as the third column but here i provide eight create now you can see the sum is 12 plus 5 is 17 the sum is 17 which is more than 12 now this this column is come to our next line you can clearly see when i save now here you can see if uh, i just cut this out you can see we having this in the same row we having this two in the same row but this is come to the next line because this not having the much space that it required or that it want that's why it come to the next line okay now we are going to make our website to check how call grid work for that we have to just remove this and this okay now here in this row i provide a div with class call 12 grid because we want heading to be in full row okay we want to heading to be in full row okay now here i provide row learner and after that we provide another row class inside this row we provide a nav class call with 12 grid because we have nav class inside this we provide ul inside ul we provide li inside li we provide anchor tag and here i just copy and paste five times one two three four five now here i provide home about us contact us our product and here i provide help okay now after that i provide another row class row inside this row i provide a call class call of 8 grid okay now here i provide h2 tag subheading sub heading and after that we provide here call call for grid inside this we provide p tag okay sorry after this heading we have to provide a p tag and here we provide some dummy tags okay now after that we have to provide another four grid we provide anchor tag which i copy from here because we want to provide the same you can provide an image add and anything that you want okay now i after this 
I provide here I provide dot row we have to provide first row then after that inside this we provide call 12 grid and inside this we provide footer at the rate copy write 2022 now let's save here you can see our first website is ready in within two to three minutes okay you can clearly see when i click and go to inspect and adjust according to device now it is maximum extra large and i just uh, decrease the size of the device you can see it work responsibly okay here you can see when i decrease you can clearly see in mobile phone also it has some good but you can see this is breaking we will discuss about that also but you can see we create a website within few minutes okay now after that we provide some color styling okay now after that we are going to provide some coloring for that we have to create id i just create id to our heading one and after that menu to the anchor tag and content to our subheading and sidebar to our sidebar okay you can see this is sidebar and this is the id and after that we have footer okay now after that we have to provide the coloring I just come here and provide has header inside this I provide background color background color orange and after that we provide hashtag menu menu providing background color background color pink and after that we provide content content color background color white okay now after that we provide sidebar side hashtag side bar color background color yarn and then we provide footer hashtag footer and providing the color background color orange okay now let's save you can see our color is appear okay i just remove the background okay i just provide zero pixel here zero pixel here and zero pixel here now let's save now you can see our website is ready but uh, you can see here we have this is and you can see we have a bullet point for that we have to just remove this after providing color let's provide padding and margin first we provide padding here 10 pixel 0 10 pixel 10 pixel now here i provide padding 3 pixel 0 okay now after that we provide health menu ul list style none and here i provide margin zero okay now after that we provide hashtag menu ul li and then display 
in line blocks okay now after that now let's save now here you can see our website is ready to go when you scroll down a little bit you can see it is responsive but in case of mobile or in case of medium devices you can see this is a waste of spaces you can clearly see okay how we can fix this and if i minimize too much you can see the text is overflowing and our layout is breaking now let's see how we can fix that okay we already discussed about breakpoint in our container class we have breakpoint in our call class we have breakpoint similarly in call grid we have breakpoint if we provide breakpoint for extra large then we provide call extra large and the grid number here we provide the grid number for from which we want to provide the breakpoint and similarly we can provide for large and it will work for extra large and large and if we reduce from large to medium then it is break and it adjusts according to the medium device okay if we provide medium then it work for extra large large and medium and when we reduce from medium then it work okay similarly if we provide smaller then it work for extra large large medium and small but if we reduce then it adjust this is the break point when we move from small to extra small then it work okay now we'll see how we can practically implement this okay now here you can see we have heading with call grid 12 so we don't need to provide any breakpoint similarly in menu also but here we can see in container we have a here i provide hyphen and here i provide md for medium screen and similarly here also i provide md now let's save when i come here and after that i just first you can see it is extra large it not appear when it is large you can see it is working same now it is medium you can see when i reduce this head this subtitle is come here and after this you can see we have in the next line we have this link or you can say sidebar okay now if here i provide large lg and also here i provide lg now let's save when i increase to extra large you can see it work fine in large it is same but when we reduce to medium you can see it come to the next line it means it means it work fine when we are using a small or extra small device then we can provide this breakpoint to change the look and feel our website according to the device offset class of bootstrap first of all what is offset if if you provide some spaces between the column from right from left from in the center in between then we provide offset class here you can see we have two margin first from the left here you can see first from left we have three grid margin and between this column we have two grid margin with the help of these two offset classes okay. <clears throat> we can also have offset class breakpoint we have four breakpoint first is for extra large screen then we have large screen medium screen and small screen and we don't have any breakpoint for extra small screen okay and when you provide the breakpoint of offset class then you have to provide them grid number from 0 to 11 you cannot provide 12 okay and if you are using directly without any breakpoint then you can provide from 1 to 12 okay now we will see how we can practically implement offset class in bootstrap okay. now we will see how we can practically implement offset class in bootstrap for that we have to first provide the link i already told you how to link bootstrap first we have to provide the css link in the top and in body we have to provide the javascript link okay now here i provide container class we have to first provide the container class 
and in container we have to provide row class and in this row class we have to provide call class I just simply provide three grid call class and here I provide some text and I just provide another column five grid and in this column I provide some 20 word text okay now I just provide the class that I created here green and gray class okay I just remove this white color now let's save and here I provide a class gray and here I provide class green now let's save you can see we have here two classes and you can see it worked perfectly fine okay now I just provide here in this first column class I provide offset set and here I provide three grid now let's save you can see it take three grid margin and now you can also calculate the total grade number here 3 plus 3 is 6 6 plus 5 is 11 now we have one grid left if you provide margin then it is fine here if I reduce this to 3 and here also I provide offset of set 3 or you can see now 3 3 3 is 12 now let's see you can see we have 3 grid margin and this is 3 grid column and here we have 3 grid margin and here you can see we have 3 grid column now let's see in inspection and set according to device you can see it is an extra large it look like same and when we reduce large medium small extra small it, it is same you can clearly see we can also provide the breakpoint for example here I just provide MD medium screen breakpoint okay and we have to provide here also MD okay now here also now let's see you can see it is in large work same in large and in medium it is same having 3 3 width when we decrease to medium to small then it come to the each column in each row you can see when we reduce it is in the same way you want to provide some changes for example I want this uh, offset to be increased when we have in extra large screen for example I just provide Excel Excel and here I provide four grid okay and I just reduce this column to I just copy this and paste here and here also I provide X L X L and I just provide two grid okay now when I increase to the when we are in large screen then this uh, text come to the two grid and we have four grid offset now let's see how it works let's say now when I come to the extra large screen you can see the margin here we have four grid and this is in one grid when we reduce to large screen it decrease okay you can see it is in large screen and you can see we have three 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 okay and similarly you can provide it for the extra small screen for example I just copy and here I just provide 5 in large screen LG and I just reduce the offset copy and paste here and here I provide in LG LG and here I provide one grid now let's save okay when I just come to the extra large 
you can see we have four grid grid offset and here we have one grid this column when we decrease to large screen now it is one grid and it is of four grid and we have some all of the other thing is same when we decrease to medium it is having three 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 when we decrease to the small it come to the col each column having each row this is how you can provide offset class in bootstrap That's about reordering in bootstrap we can reorder with the help of first order first and order last if we want to change the position of our column from anywhere to first position then we provide order first and if we want to change the position of our first column or any column to the last then we provide order last here you can see we change the position of blue color column into first here you can see and the green column which is in the first position is can change the position to last here you can see okay now we'll see the breakpoint okay we have some breakpoint here you can see we have extra large screen large screen medium and small we don't have any breakpoint for small extra small screen okay here if you provide order then excel and after that first or last you can provide any okay when you provide first and last it to change and work only on the large screen extra large screen okay when you provide lg then this first position work till the large screen and after that it take the position that you provided at the starting okay when you provide medium then it work from extra large to medium and when you provide small then it work from extra large to small okay and if you want to provide the fixed position then you directly use order first and order last it will not change in any device okay now we will see how we can practically implement this okay now we will see how we can practically implement reordering for that we have to first provide our bootstrap link of css and at the body we have to provide the script link and here i link also link my custom style and here i provide some classes here you can see the container class row class and pink green orange for the column okay first we have to provide here dot container and container class and in this container we have to provide row class row and in this row we have to provide call class i just provide three grid you can provide any and i first provide pink and i just copy and paste four time here i provide orange blue then at the end we have pro to provide green okay now we have to add the classes also just provide here pink orange blue green and you can just provide the number this is in the first position in the second position it is in the third position and this was in the fourth position now first let's save without any reordering now let's save you can see we have pink first orange second blue third green fourth okay now let's first provide this green should be our first then we have to provide order order hyphen first and this orange should be our last order order first and we have to provide last here now let's save you can see 
now our second orange is in the position fourth and our green at the position of first you can see when i just when i want to check it in the responsive devices you can see in any devices it is fixed you can clearly see the ordering is remain the same okay now let's provide the breakpoint for that we have to just provide here first of all i provide lg large screen lg large screen now let's save okay now here you can see it is in the extra large screen so it is reflecting the change now it is in large screen now when i come to the medium screen you can see pink is first orange is second blue is third and green is fourth and when i decrease you can see it will not change this is how you can provide the breakpoint to last order and first order now we'll see how we can provide the ordering with the help of grade number okay now we will see the reordering with the help of position we previously see how we can reorder with the help of first order and last order but there is a problem when you want to change the position of all of the column then how you can do that you can do with the help of order 1 order 2 order 3 and order 4 providing the order number for that you have to start from any number you can start from 0 you can start from 1 but make sure then you have to increment if you provide 0 then second would be 1 and third would be 2 and fourth would be 3 if you start from 1 then it would be 1 then 2 then 3 then 4 if you start from 2 then it is 2 it is 3 it is 4 it is 5 okay no matter from where to start but maintain the order okay now here you can see we change the column 1 to the position second because we provide 1 here you can see our starting position is 0 here blue is at the position 1 and orange at the position of third and pink at the position of last okay ring by position we also have breakpoint okay now we'll see the breakpoint here we have breakpoint for large screen medium screen small screen and extra large screen but we don't have any breakpoint for extra small screen we can provide the grade number from 0 to 12 okay actually we provide the ordering from 0 to 12 but if we use only 3 then we can only provide the 0 from 0 to 3 okay here you can see we have order then excel and after that we provide the positioning it will work only on extra large screen when we provide lg then it work for both large and extra large when we provide medium then it is work on large extra large and medium and when we provide small then it work for all extra large large medium and small but it will not work on extra small and if you do, don't want breakpoint if you want to fix this position then you just use dot order and pro provide the positioning okay now we'll see how we can practically implement this okay now we will see how we can change the position with the help of ordering for that we have to just remove this class and this class okay now i just provide here order of hyphen one and i just copy this copy this and paste here and here and here now i just change the positioning this would be our third this would be our second and it would be our fourth now let's save and see the result you can see green is our first blue is second pink is third and orange is last or you can say fourth okay when i just set according to device you can see it is responsive and it is fixed you can clearly see it not change the position 
when I provide the breakpoint, for example, here I provide MD 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 and here also I provide MD means medium scale. Now let's say here you can see when we are in the extra large screen and in large screen it is work same in medium it is also working the same when we reduce to medium to small now you can see our pink is first orange is second blue is third and green is fourth you can similarly change or provide the breakpoint according to your need or if you want to reorder your website you can also do that for example i just remove this and here i provide dot call hyphen 12 and here i provide heading heading and i just provide the class green okay now after this we provide another dot call hyphen 8 and here i provide paragraph of 100 word 100 now after this i provide here dot call hyphen 4 and here i provide ul and this ul i provide li home i copy this three times about us us our product or you can say pro duh. and now let's save and you can see that we don't have any color I just provide the color also here I provide blue and in anchor we provide pink I just here I don't provide any anchor tag you can clearly see because I just want to show you the reordering okay now let's save you can see it reflected when I change the device width you can see it work the same it is fixed when we want to change the positioning then we can use here not here not here order order second and here I provide order first also save you can see it changed the order and you can also provide the breakpoint you can provide here for example I provide LG and here also I provide LG okay now let's save you can see not change when we are in the extra large it worked the same okay when we are in small screen or medium screen you can see it changed the positioning you can also provide here LG and here also we have to provide LG now after this it set to the row wise and column wise you can clearly see when we are in the large extra large and large when we are in the small you can see it change the positioning according to the here you can see in extra large now after that it is having a breakpoint and the ordering is set according to the position that we specified here you can clearly see okay so this is how you can reorder your column in bootstrap about nested column what is nested column when you provide a column inside our column is called nested column here you can see the example in here I have one row class inside this row class we have two column and inside first column we have another two column this is called nested column now we will see how we can practically implement this to better understand what is nested column okay now we are going to see how we can practically implement nested column for that we have to first link our bootstrap CSS link and inside body we have to provide the bootstrap script link okay now here you can see we have custom CSS also 
here I provide container and row and some color classes you can clearly see now here I just create a container class dot container inside this container I provide a row class row inside this row I provide a call class of six grid and here I provide for example pro learner now let's save mm, you can see bro learner is printed here now I just remove this I just remove this and I provide a color pink here you can see we have pink color here okay now I just provide here another row dot row inside this row I provide first inside this column I provide h2 tag and this this is heading okay now inside this row I provide a column dot call with with six grid hit enter and inside this I provide h3 tag h3 tag this is sub heading now after this I provide another after this I provide a paragraph tag p tag with some 60 word okay now I just copy this from here to here and provide after this I provide dot call and I provide six grid column now here I just paste this and I just reduce the paragraph now let's save and see how it look like you can see first we have this is heading inside this we have 50% this div and 50% this div because we provide 6th grade and 6th grade okay now here you can see we have one column inside this column we have sub 2 column this is called nested column we can provide in this column we can provide 12 number of column with one grade but we just provide 2 of 60 6th grade and 6th grade now here if I just remove this I just remove this and I provide another row to form a column class again dot call with three grid and here I provide hello okay now I just change the color also to distinguish from here where to where we have this column I provide blue now let's save from here to here we have three column grid if I want to provide four column I can provide I just copy and paste after this paste and paste I just change the color orange orange and green and I now let's say you can see we have blue yellow green and then blue you can provide if I here provide four then you can see the break because we have more than 12 inside this column I just provide four now let's see what will happen you can see it break and it come to the next line because the sum is more than 12 you can provide inside column inside column you can provide the grid number equal to 12 not more than 12 okay it will follow the same rule that follow the outer column okay this is how you can provide nested column in bootstrap it's about margin and bootstrap why we use margin 
if we want to align our column according to our need for example if we want to align our column at the center to the right to the left then we use margin if we want to align it center then we use m auto means margin auto then it is at the center if we want to align it right then we use margin starting auto means ms auto s stand for starting starting similarly if we want to align our column to the left then we use m e m e auto end okay we provide m e margin end to be auto it take the margin from the end okay now after that we will see the break point of our margin auto if we want to provide margin auto to the extra large screen then we use excel if we want to use it for extra large and large then we use lg and similarly if we want from extra large to medium then we provide margin md sorry breakpoint md and similarly if we want from extra large to small screen then we use sm and we don't have any breakpoint for extra small screen because by default it is auto means 100% width okay now one thing i want to tell you is that when you provide margin auto then it take left right top and bottom margin okay now we'll see how we can practically implement this okay now we are going to see how we can practically implement margin auto in our bootstrap okay first of all we have to provide the css link of bootstrap in our heading and after that in our body we have to provide the script link of bootstrap and also we have a custom css here we have color of orange green background you can see container of black color border and row with red color border okay now first of all we have to provide here dot container inside this container i provide dot row class inside this row we provide dot call hyphen md i want md breakpoint medium size screen size breakpoint and after that i provide the four grid and after that i hit enter and here i provide some dummy text lorem now here i provide the blue background now let's save you can see by default our column is aligned to the left okay now let's change with the help of margin auto we provide m hyphen auto now let's save now you can see it is centered aligned now just press f12 to check in every device now it is in extra large screen you can clearly see when we decrease to large it is again centered aligned when we decrease to medium and after medium it is by default auto because we provide the breakpoint to the column okay now here i just change m to provide i just set this extra large here i provide s now let's save you can see now our column is aligned to the right when we decrease the device width you can clearly see it is perfectly fine it working in all the devices now just provide e instead of s now let's save by default it is left aligned you can clearly see when we decrease it is left aligned okay now after that we are going to provide the breakpoint i just provide m hyphen lg because we already here provided the md breakpoint medium screen breakpoint that's why i provide lg now let's save when we are in extra large screen you can see it is centered aligned now in large screen it is again centered aligned when we come to medium screen you can see it is come to the left by default left align okay now similarly if i provide here m s now let's say 
first of all we have to increase the width or device size you can clearly see now it is in right align when we decrease in large skin it is again in right align when we decrease to medium now you can see it is by default left align okay now after that we see the top right and bottom margin in bootstrap okay now we will see how we can provide margin first of all if you want to provide from all side equal margin then you can use m hyphen and provide the number from 0 to 5 if you provide 0 it means you have no margin if you provide 1 then you have 0 0.25 RAM margin and if you provide 2 then you have 0 0.5 RAM margin if you provide 3 then it is 1 RAM if you provide 4 then 1.5 RAM if you provide 5 it means 3 RAM okay when you provide only the right margin then you use M E hyphen and provide from 0 to 5 and similarly if you provide left margin then use M S E for ending ending margin and S for starting starting margin okay and you can provide MT means top margin MB for bottom margin and we, we can also have breakpoint for these margin I'll show you here we have the breakpoint for the margin we can use m hyphen excel hyphen we can provide the number how many margin we wa want from 0 to 5 okay and it works for extra large screen and if you provide lg then it works for extra large and large screen and if you provide md then it works for all of three extra large large and medium when you provide sm then it works for all of the other except extra small okay similarly you can provide for left left margin right margin top and bottom by just providing the excel lg md and sm and after that in the place of a star you can provide from zero to five any number okay now we'll see how we can practically now we'll see how we can provide the margin first of all here I create another div of three grid with orange color and here also you can see we provide the breakpoint for the column small screen okay now here I provide M hyphen 5 I provide the 3 RAM margin now let's say when I just increase the device width you can see it work for the extra large screen and when we decrease 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 it work on all the devices but you can see there is a break you can see we having overflow okay you can see which is annoying for that we have to provide the breakpoint I just here provide hyphen MT for medium screen now after this it will align by default now you can see when we are large screen it is working in medium screen it is again working when we get screen you can see now it is by default aligned when we decrease too much now it is auto in extra small screen okay now after this I just increase this similarly we can provide M S knowledge save you can see we have um, margin from starting where when we provide S E you can see we have margin from the end you can clearly see and if we provide here empty we have margin from top and if I provide here MB we have margin from bottom you can see we can similarly provide the margin for another column co orange column you can clearly see when we provide here M hyphen md hyphen here i provide 5 ram you can see we have margin from top left right and bottom when we provide here s e we have margin from from left you can see we have nothing to show you if i 
copy this and paste once again here after this and I just remove this you can see we have margin left or you can say from the end okay we can also provide here empty from top margin you can clearly see we can provide bottom and so on and you can set the breakpoint also this is how you can provide margin and bootstrap about padding and bootstrap padding means inside margin when you provide call class inside a row class by default it has left and right margin of 15 pixel okay and when you provide left right top and bottom margin you can use bootstrap classes of p p e p s p t and p b p for all the side if you want to have equal margin from all the side then you use p class and provide hyphen from 0 to 5 when you provide hyphen 0 it having no mark no padding when you provide one it is having 0 0.5 ram padding when you provide two it is having 0 0.5 ram padding when you provide three it is having one ram padding when you provide four it is having 1.5 ram padding when you provide five it is having three ram padding okay and you can provide left right top bottom and if you want equal then you provide p okay now let's discuss about the breakpoint you can provide the breakpoint if you want the padding for extra large screen then you can provide p hyphen xl and hyphen provide the number and it work for the padding is work for only extra large screen and for left padding you can provide p and xl and then provide the number and similarly for left ps and pt for top pv for bottom and if you want to work for extra large and large screen then you provide lg and if you want to provide for three screen uh, extra large large and medium then you provide md and when you want to provide from here to here from extra large to small screen then you provide sm we don't have any breakpoint for extra small screen okay now we'll see how we can practically implement this okay now let's see how we can practically implement padding in bootstrap and this is the document i'm using from the starting of my bootstrap tutorial now here you can see first i include the css link of bootstrap and inside here you can see we have custom css also which here i provide the container border color row border color and some background color and after this you can see we have script link of bootstrap okay now here i provide a container inside this container i provide a row class inside this row we have four gate column which is having breakpoint small screen and this having blue background and similarly you can see we have three grid with breakpoint sm means small screen and we have background color orange okay now let's see how it look like you can clearly see it is perfectly fine okay now here i provide padding p hyphen and here i provide five now let's see how it look like you can see the width of the container is increasing you can clearly see now we have three rem padding from each side from left top bottom and right okay now if i want to provide row to be having padding i just provide p hyphen and here also i provide five now let's save you can see the container size is increasing now you can see we have padding of padding of three ram from each side okay now here you can also provide container to be having padding i just provide p hyphen five now let's save now you can see we have and 3 ram padding from each side in row class and inside this column we have 3 ram padding from each side and now let's provide the breakpoint first let's see how it look like in all the device just press f12 
now increase the device width okay now this is the extra large screen when we decrease to large you can see it is having 3 ram padding from each side okay now let's come to the medium screen you can see we have padding okay now when we decrease to medium you can see when we decrease to extra small you can see we have padding or now our div now our column come to the row wise because we having breakpoint here sm now here i also provide hyphen md hyphen md md okay now here i also provide p p e hyphen 5 now let's see okay when i increase and i just remove the container padding i just remove this okay and i just remove this also now let's save now you can see we have margin from the end you can clearly see i provide pe pe5 you can clearly see we have padding from right okay when i provide here ps we having padding from left okay now check to the breakpoint i provide here hyphen md now let's save you can see in extra large screen it is working in large screen it is also working in medium screen it is working when we are at small screen you can see it is stop working now and when we are extra small you can see we don't have any margin padding from anywhere okay now if you want to check for other pe ps pt you can provide pt here also pt now let's see how it look like i just increase the device width you can see we have top margin but you cannot distinguish i just remove this now let's see we have top padding from orange in orange column i just here provide pb now let's save you can see we have bottom padding okay so this is how you can provide padding in bootstrap horizontally align the item in bootstrap for example we have three column column one column two column three and if we want to align these column at the end without mm, providing individually the margin then we can use just this class justify content at the end and by default it is starting and we can also provide justify content and hyphen start okay now this is a start that's why i provide here okay now if we want to justify our content at the center means if you want to um, align our con column one column two and column three at the center then we use justify content center and after that we have justify content between and justify content around it in justify content between means it have occupy the all space and provide the column one with three grid column two with three grid and column three with three grid and it provide the equal margin from each side you can see in this column one and column two having some margin and here we also have some margin equal margin and similarly if we want to justify our content around the uh, around like a container for example it also have some equal margin from this end from this end okay now we have equal margin from here from here and from here you can clearly see justify content around give the left and right to be equal margin from end starting and ending you can see but in justify content between it only provide the equal margin to the content between between the content not to the uh, between the row and column also 
okay now we also have some breakpoint like we saw in our previous video we have four breakpoint extra large screen large screen medium screen small screen and we don't have any breakpoint for extra small screen and just provide justify content and provide the breakpoint and after that provide the starting provide the ending if you want to provide the breakpoint you have to just follow the this pattern for the all of the mm, alignment that we discussed starting ending around between center okay just provide justify content and hyphen then provide the breakpoint for example lg xl md sn and after that provide the alignment for example starting ending around between center now after that we will see how we can practically implement this okay now let's see how we can practically implement align horizontal alignment in bootstrap first of all you have to see that we have already include our bootstrap css link and script link and here you can see we have custom css which i provided here you can see we have container class with black border row class with red border and i have some background color like pink green and orange blue okay now here i have to just use first of all container class inside this container we have to provide row class inside this row class we have to provide call class i provide call hyphen sm hyphen three grid and here i provide h2 tag call one and after that i provide some paragraph p tag and here i provide lorem 20 okay and i just copy this i just copy this and paste here and here i just provide here call 2 and here call 3 now i just provide a background color pink blue and here i provide green now we don't need to provide anything to our call class because our alignment classes work only on row class or you can provide the container class okay because row class is the container of our column class that's why we provide in container class of call we provide to our parent class row okay now first let's see how it look like just say and now you can see we have call one call two and call three with corresponding color okay now i just provide here justify just t phi hyphen content hyphen end now let's save you can see our content is justified or move to the end and if i provide here justify content hyphen center now let's save you can see our content is justified to the center means it aligned to the center now just press f12 now i just change the device width to extra large you can see it is having result when we decrease to medium you can see it is working fine when we are at the small screen you can see it is centered align when we decrease to more to extra small you can see now it is um, row wise why because here we provide the breakpoint sn to our column that's why it look like this now i just provide here justify content and here i provide bit v now let's save you can see we have spaces between these columns and you can just check for all devices it is completely fine 
okay now after that i provide here justify content around now let's say you can see it having spaces and you can see here we have more spaces comparing to this and this why because column having right space and this column two having left spaces this this both combine and making it greater than this space okay now after that we have could justify content start now let's save you can see by default it is starting and when we provide a starting it is working fine when we come to extra small screen you can see it break now just provide the breakpoint here we have to provide justify content then provide the breakpoint md i just first provide the starting now let's save and see the result now we are on the extra large screen it is working in large screen it is again working in medium screen it is working when we are at small screen you can see it is working because by default it is left aligned now i just provide here center center now let's save i just increase the device width you can see an extra large screen it is having centered align in large screen in medium screen but in small screen you can see it is left align you can say starting align okay you can pro similarly you can provide around you can provide between and you can provide end align okay so this is how you can horizontally align your column oh, friends so that's now we are going to see vertical alignment in bootstrap here you can see we have three column column one column two and column three and if we want to apply that it should be uh, how vertically it should be vertically aligned and it occupy the space that text it has it means from here to here and in this case you can see from here to here then we apply align item start and it align the item to the top similarly we can provide align item end align item center you can see align item end it align the item at the bottom of the row and it only occupy the space that it having the text okay and we can also provide the align item center it align the item in center from some margin from top and some margin from bottom okay now after that we have align item stretch by default it is a stretch you can see there is no difference between the without applying align item stretch and after applying align item stretch because it is by default property and in some case we apply for some breakpoint so that's why it use in, in that case i'll show you okay now after that we have align item baseline it take the baseline of the first column and it, it align the other column accordingly here i have first column with big font size here we have some less and in this you can see the text is little bit smaller than orange column okay now it align the baseline you can see align the lorem of the first to the second to the third it to it align according to the um, first column okay now after that we have some breakpoint you can see we have four breakpoint here first we have extra large screen we just use dot align item then before providing the start and center okay we use breakpoint xl lg md sm okay you can provide for center you can provide for baseline you can provide for stretch you can provide for stretch also okay now we will see how we can practically implement this okay now we will see how we can practically implement vertical alignment in bootstrap first of all we have to include the css link of bootstrap in heading and script link of bootstrap in 
body and you can see we have a custom css which i provide here border color to container border color to row and some background color pink green blue orange okay now here i just provide dot container class inside this container i provide dot row class inside this row i provide dot call class and here i provide call hyphen sm breakpoint and three grid i just enter and here i provide the color pink background color pink now inside this i provide p tag inside p i provide 10 word of text okay now after this i just copy this copy and paste two times now here i change the color pink to blue and here i provide green green now i just increase the word in here 10 more word and here i provide 20 more word now after this now let's save and see the result first you can see we have pink blue and green column okay now i just provide here in the row class i provide align align hyphen items hyphen start start means from the top now let's say you can see it align according to the available text width and it occupy the only necessary width it's not a stretch you can see now similarly we can provide here end now let's save you can see it start from bottom you can clearly see it align according to the bottom line you can see now after end align we have center align center align now let's save and see the result you can see it is now center align now if you want to check with every device just press f12 now let's check to the extra large screen you can see it is perfectly fine in large screen it is perfectly fine and it is working fine in medium and small screen but in extra small we have breakpoint that's why it is uh, aligned row wise you can see okay now after this i just provide here stretched align item is stretch now let's see now let's save and see the result by default it is a stretch it is no need to provide a check you can clearly see and it is working fine you can clearly see in all devices now after this we have align item baseline base line and for that we have to just provide here the font size to be greater or smaller font size i just provide here 28 pixel and in green i provide font size 20 pixel and in blue i provide font size 24 pixel now let's save and see the result now you can see it is aligned according to the font size you can clearly see you can also check the responsiveness of this alignment okay now after this i just here come now let's see how it look like in breakpoint i here provide md breakpoint now let's save and see the result you can see we are in the extra large screen and it is working now we are in large screen you can see it is working now we are in the middle screen you can see it is working when we are in the small screen you can see now it is not working you can see when we are extra small it is breaking by default because we provided here sm okay now similarly you can check for center i just provide here center now let's see the result I'll just increase you can see 
is the font size different that's why it is looking like this okay now i just reduce you can see it is working fine in medium screen you can see it is working fine and in small screen it is break okay you can clearly see this is how you can provide vertical alignment in bootstrap now we so are going it. to discuss about flex in bootstrap first of all we have some flex class you can see flex row and flex column flex wrap flex no wrap first we see what is flex row when you want to align your column that you insert or you code in your editor then we use dot flex row because it is by default it is aligned but you can also use this okay then it align first a second b third c and fourth d okay now after that if you want to reverse this order if you want to reverse this order we use flex row reverse then our first co column comes at the end and our last column come to the first and similarly if you want to align our column in a row manner then we use flex hyphen column and it align our column in row wise you can clearly see and if you want to reverse this pattern because our a column is first b is second c is third and d is fourth and you can see when we apply flex hyphen column hyphen reverse this reverse the pattern first we have d then c then b and then at the end we have a similarly after column we have flex wrapper class in a row in a row when we have more than 12 grade grade column then it the last one is come to the next line this is called wrapper flex wrapper and it is by default uh, our bootstrap property if the sum is more than 12 it automatically come we don't need to provide this but if you want if you don't want to um, such wrapping then we use flex no wrap it means after the d it come e and you cannot see this e if you are using extra large screen any screen but it will not sh show you okay now after this we can reverse the order with the help of this flex wrapper reverse with the help of flex hyphen wrapper hyphen reverse okay now after this let's discuss about the breakpoint as you already know we have four breakpoint in our bootstrap extra large large medium and small we don't have any for extra small screen now how we can apply breakpoint here you can see first we use the flex and after that hyphen and we provide the breakpoint for example here i provide excel and after that we provide the subclass name for, for example in this case we have row and if we have row and we also have row subclass reverse then we use hyphen reverse and similarly if we using for column then we provide flex dot flex dot flex hyphen excel or small if you want small then sm and medium for md and large for lg and a hyphen column and if you want for reverse then follow this the same and after a column you provide the reverse hyphen reverse and similarly you can provide for no wrap also okay now we'll see how we can practically implement this okay now we'll see how we can practically implement flex in bootstrap first of all you can see i have bootstrap css link in, in heading and script link of bootstrap in body okay now here you can see we have a custom css here i provide background colors some background color pink green orange blue and yellow and i provide the container you can see black color border and row with red color border okay now here i provide a container class inside a container class we have a row class inside this row class i have three call class with background color pink blue green okay now first of all let's see the result okay 
you can see we have first column class second column class and third column class with respective color pink blue and green now here i provide flex hyphen row it is by default um, aligned because we provide the inserting order first column second column and third column it is um, providing that order okay now let's save you can see nothing will change nothing is changed okay now here i provide flex column reverse reverse now let's save and see the result now you can see our third call is now first call and our second call is remain same and now our third um, first call is become third call okay column you can see and after this i provide flex hyphen column now let's say now you can see this alignment change into column wise you can see clearly see and here if i provide column hyphen hyphen reverse now let's save and see the result you can see now first we have third column second and then first okay now after this let's provide flex hyphen wrap by default it is wrap now let's save you cannot see the difference now i just copy this column i just copy this column and paste after this and here i provide yellow yellow class and here i provide four now let's save and see the result you can see now we have four column column one column two and column three and four you can see now here you cannot see any difference because if i remove this class if i remove this class wrap class and show you the result it is same because it is by default property now here i provide flex hyphen no wrap now let's say now you can see our fourth column is overflow and you cannot see the full width of this fourth column if i reduce the screen size you can see it is you can see it is out of our container and our container or having 100% weight and it is more than 100% now i just provide the 100% now let's press f12 and i increase the width of our device you can see we have able to see the 50% of our column 4 when we reduce to large screen you can see it reduce okay you can see it is overflow now let's discuss about breakpoint here i provide flex hyphen column hyphen reverse reverse and here i provide empty breakpoint now let's save and see the result now when we are at the extra large screen it is working in large screen it is also working and in medium screen it is working when we are in the small screen you can see now it is not working why because it is break now after this you can see by default we have breakpoint of our column okay now here i just provide flex flex no wrap and provide the breakpoint empty now let's save and see the result we are in the extra large screen you can see it is overflow when we are reducing you can see it is working for large screen medium screen when we are the small screen you can see it is break okay now after this you can see it is by default row wise aligned okay similarly you can provide for reverse column reverse row reverse flex row reverse flex column reverse so this is how you can provide flex flex and bootstrap and right, now we are going to discuss about display class in bootstrap first we have display none 
second we have inline then inline block block table table cell table row flex and flex inline flex okay now if you want to provide display none and if you want to hide some div then we can provide d hyphen none if you want to convert block into inline then we provide d hyphen inline if we want to convert in, into inline block then we provide d hyphen inline hyphen block and similarly if you want to convert inline into block then we can provide d hyphen block if you want to provide table then we can provide d hyphen table if you want to provide cell of table then we can provide t d hyphen table hyphen cell and if you want to provide row then we provide d hyphen table hyphen row and if you want to provide flex display then we can provide t hyphen flex and similarly if you want to provide inline flex then we can provide t hyphen inline hyphen flex okay now after that let's discuss about the breakpoint okay if you want to provide breakpoint you just need to provide d hyphen and then provide the breakpoint for example excel lg md smn you don't have any for extra small screen you can directly provide if you want to hide on the extra large screen just provide this and before that just provide this and provide the block in line and so on if you want to provide you will see in practical implementation now after that you can provide d hyphen excel hyphen flex d hyphen excel hyphen in line block and similarly you can provide for the other classes also now we will see how we can practically implement this okay now we are going to see how we can practically implement display class in bootstrap first of all here you can see i provide the css link of bootstrap and here i provide the script link of bootstrap and you can also see the custom css link here i provide i provide container border and row border and some background classes okay now first of all i provide here dot container class inside this container i provide a div class div inside this div i inside this div i provide h2 tag here i provide call one and after that i provide p tag and inside this p tag i provide five word five now i just copy this i just copy this and paste one more time and i here change this one to two and here also I provide a space and here I provide pink color pink color and here I provide blue color background now I just save and see the result let's save and see the result you can see now it is having some margin I just provide a here p hyphen 3 padding and here also I provide p hyphen padding 3 now let's save and see the result now you can see it is having block type display now i just change with the help of d hyphen inline inline hyphen block inline block i just copy this and paste here now save and see the result now you can see it is converted into column type you can see when we provide the column class it is by default looking like this if you want to provide a column grid by default you can use inline block now let's see how it will look like in responsive just press f12 here and after that click here now you can see we are on extra large screen you can see we are on extra large screen it is working when we are on the large screen it is working when we are on the medium screen it is working when we are in the small screen it is working you can clearly see it is responsive and work as it is on the every device now after that i just provide here d hyphen md and here also i provide d hyphen md now let's save and see the result now here you can see we are on the extra large screen it is working when we are in the 
large screen it is working when we are on the me medium screen still it is working when we are on the small screen you can see now it is converted into block display now after that i just remove this i just remove this and here i provide dot container inside this container i provide row class inside this row i provide call class call hyphen sm hyphen three grade and inside this i provide call h3 tag and here i provide call one now after this i provide p i just copy this i just copy this and paste three time one two three now here i just uh, remove the text from here to here and from here to here now i just remove from here now after this i provide some color classes here i provide orange here i provide pink here i provide blue and here i provide green now after this after this let's save and see the result you can see now it is perfectly fine and working now if i want to hide this column i just change the numbering also to three four now let's save now if you want to hide the column two class then i can use here d hyphen none now let's save and see the result now you can see we have only four now you can see we have only three column column one column three and column four we don't have any column two when we are on the extra small small screen you can see we don't have column two you can see in all devices now if i provide here on md after this it will appear when we are on the medium screen we don't have any column two but we are on the small and extra small we have column two let's save and see the result i just increase the width you can see we are on the extra large it is not visible on large screen it is not visible when we are on the medium screen it is not visible when we are on the small screen you can see it is visible when we are on the extra small screen you can see it is still visible if we want to hide this column 2 on extra small screen then we can provide directly hyphen none and i just provide here display d hyphen block and here i provide hyphen sm till sm it is block type and in extra smaller screen it is this appear now let's save and see the result when we are on the extra large screen it is visible when we are on the large screen it is visible on medium screen it is visible on x small screen you can see it is visible when we are on the extra small you can see it is disappear or invisible now okay now after that i just comment this all i just comment this all okay and i just minimize this now here i provide a div div inside this div i provide another div and here i provide h4 tag and i provide call fun and after this i provide some paragraph of five word and i just copy this and paste it 
three times okay you can see we have three column now here i provide two and i provide three now i provide here color classes class i provide here pink class green i provide here class blue now after this i want to see the result now let's save and see the result now you can see we have three column column one column two and column three i just provide here another thing p hyphen three and space now let's save and see the result you can see it is visible and much familiar now after that i provide here class d hyphen flex now let's save and see the result you can see now it is wrapped you can clearly see if i cut this out you can see it is look like a flex box now okay now if you want to apply some flex classes of our bootstrap we can also provide here i provide flex flex hyphen column now let's save and see the result you can see now it is arranged like a column and we can also reverse the order we can here provide hyphen reverse now let's save and see the result you can see we can also provide a uh, custom flex and we can apply the flex properties or classes of the bootstrap also okay now after that we have some print display class if you want to hide some particular thing when your user want to print and you don't want to show this thing for example add in your print screen then you can provide t hyphen print hyphen none and if you want to just appear the something that you want to show your user after printing if he, he print the your website page and you want to show some um, watermark for example watermark then you can use display d hyphen print hyphen inline and if you want to provide in inline block then you can choose inline block if you want to provide in block then you can provide block if you want to use to show in table then you can provide table table row table shell if you want to provide in flex then you can provide flex if you want to provide in inline flex then you can provide in inline flex now let's see how we can do that okay okay now here i provide d hyphen print hyphen none if we, i don't want to show this in print screen i just provide none now let's save and see the result you can see by default it is visible you can clearly see it is visible in every screen you can clearly see in every screen it is visible but if i just pre press control plus p okay i just cut this out i just press control plus p the preview is open now you can see we have only class column class 1 class column 2 and column 4 we don't have any column 3 you can clearly see because we provide here the print none okay now similarly we reverse this fashion if we want to don't show this in normal screen i provide d hyphen none and i provide t hyphen print hyphen block you can provide block inline block okay now let's save and see the result now you can see we have column one column two column four we don't have any column three okay 
now you can see this column don't have any class i provide yellow here yellow now let's save and see the result now you can see it is good now if i just press control p our previous our previous open and you can see we have four column column one column two and column three column four but here you can see we don't have any column three because we hide in our display but it is visible on print screen or print document okay so this is how you can provide display class in bootstrap so that's it for today's video hope you like this video if you did please subscribe my channel share with your friends and bye bye